Good morning, YouTubers. It's Big Papa. And it is an early morning again on Sunday morning. And as promised, I uh, am following through with the Sunday is gun day. And, you know, this one's probably not as exciting for all you guys out there, but um, I didn't want to jump to the my best guns right away. Not that I have a huge collection. Although, I'd love to have a huge collection. Just a matter of the, you know, moolah. Eventually, though, one at a time, I'll build up my collection. Anyway, today, we're going to fortunately not have to clean this one because this one did not make it to the range the last time. So we will simply do kind of a intro and glance at and, uh, you know, uh, take down and reassembly today on this one. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this one is my wife's gun. And as you can see, it's purple. Now, don't get me wrong, I like purple. I mean, uh, especially a darker purple. This is, you know, not too, too light. But I actually like purple. Um, a lot of guys don't. But, you know, Minnesota Vikings, um, the Ravens. Yeah, the LA Lakers have purple, so it's not that it's purple can't be a manly color. Just most men probably wouldn't buy one, but I I think these this is a by the way this is a Ruger LC nine S. Um, you know it is similar looking to the LCPs and stuff like that, but um, and they did have a. Prior to having the LC9, is it LC9S, or just L, L9S, it's either LC9S or L9S, what is it, what does it say in here, LC9S, yeah, so, prior to having the LC9S, by the way, so you know, um, it is empty, no magazine, so, let me throw it around here, just so you know it is empty, um, prior to, my understanding anyways, the prior to the LC9S, which is, the S stands for striker fired, um, they did have a hammer fired version, um, prior to this, um, which was just the LC9, um, so, that's my understanding anyway, so, um, and as with my, my gun, um, usually have three loaded magazines, um, it came with, I think it only came with one, I think, and then I had to, the other two I get picked up from the used bin that they uh, they used to have. I haven't seen it in a while, but uh, they used to have every now and then in uh, Cabela's. Uh, our Cabela's actually has since switched to Bass Pro Shops. Um, Obviously, they all got bought out by Bass Pro Shops, but I don't know if they changed the name on Cabela, all Cabela's to Bass Pro Shops. It still says Cabela's, uh, you know, in the front, but as a subtitle versus Bass Pro Shops being the main main store name. Um, so, well, before I disassemble this, let's 
Um, let's take a drink of coffee. Enjoy your cup of coffee for this Sunday morning. If you drink coffee. Um, let's cover a few things before I disassemble this. Um, it obviously is a striker gun. It has uh, a people to see if you have a, a, a cartridge in the chamber. It has adjustable back sight and it's a three three white dot and it's pretty pretty nice sights um haven't had any problems with it um on this side non-ambidextrous safety it does have This lever to hold back the slide and then we will see more on this little thing right here when I go to disassemble it don't want to ruin the surprise here on this gun um, trigger wise um, it does have a Decent trigger. It is a also has a magazine safety. You can't pull this trigger without a magazine in it. In fact, um, now that I think about it, I am actually going to have to take one of these magazines. It's been a while since I've, because my wife doesn't go as, but so empty magazine, it doesn't have a magazine safety. So now I can pull the trigger all the way back. Um, but we're gonna need that to disassemble. It comes with a uh, dummy magazine you can use for, for this purpose, but figured that's back in my closet there. So I'll just use a, oops, use a uh, regular magazine for today. So, um, let's get to this. So this little spot here. The one and today I'm trying to remember if I uh, left one in here. I brought out a I brought out a little tool here that should work. But my one complaint about this gun is you have to slightly cock it back. And then there's a pin in there, if you can see, that needs to be um, pushed out. in order to disassemble this gun. Then at that point it's um, pretty similar to the other guns, so. Okay, oh. This was catching. It's, like I said, it's been a little while since it disassembled it because Hasn't been to, she hasn't been to the range with me in a while. But there we go. Finally got it off. It is a little trickier. It's basically the same after you get the pin out, but for some reason it was getting stuck there. Um, but I think it was just 
this slide catch that was causing the problem. So, yeah, um, get these out of the way for now. So, I mean, after that, it's basically all, you know, identical to most other striker fire gun. We got the got the spring here and the barrel. The barrel is not straight. You can see the little indentation there and the side. There you go. That's uh, the disassembly of the Ruger LC9S. You can actually get these, you know, separately in various colors and replace your um, I take that back. Not on this gun. You can't. This is the actual serial numbered part, isn't it? Yep. I like the guns that, uh, like the Beretta, Nano, and Pico, and all of those, you can actually, it's actually the slide that is the um, serialized part of the gun, and so you can replace the bottom part with any, any color you want. In fact, I was thinking about getting, um, I mentioned wanting to get in that 380, I was thinking about getting a 380. And the uh, Beretta Nano or Pico for an ankle gain gun or a, back, a second backup, and getting a colored bottom for my wife and a regular, you know, maybe a tan or an OD green um, colored uh, bottom for myself, and then we could share the same gun. Um, you know, when she wanted to use it, she could use her colored, fancy one. And when I wanted to use it, I could use the more manly color. Anyway, in this particular gun, the serialized part is this part. Um, I'm not sure how they, I'm not exactly sure on all the rules on how they determine which part of the gun is serialized and which isn't. Um... Uh, so that, I mean, it's a little annoying that it can differ, but I'm sure there's, it's something, um, specific. Like with an AR, obviously, only the lower receiver part is the serialized part of the AR. Um... And the rest of it's, you know, just uh, pieces, according to the government. Um, which is, you know, also odd. But, I mean, I'm perfectly happy with that because that means, you know, you can change the upper on your AR at any point in time and, you know, basically almost have a completely different gun and not have to do another background check or anything like that. But actually, at some point, I want to order an 80% lower and route out my own lower and completely skip that step even with that. So look for that sometime in the future. Um, probably a little bit down the road. But at some point I want to do that. Maybe not for, actually more than likely I'd probably do it for an AR-10 because I have an AR-15 so I'd probably make one for an AR-10 and uh, build a new AR-10 um, from there. But that's getting off topic. Let's get back to the, let's put this guy back together and uh, I'll let you enjoy the rest of your weekend. So again, put the barrel back in. I'm sure you guys that have guns have done this a million times just like I have. Put the spring back in.
There we go. Yeah, so there you go. And then you just, you know, slide that back up to protect, <clears throat> protect that pin. And it is back together. So, folks, that is Sunday for, Sunday is gun day. Um... Yeah, leave comments. Uh, what does your uh, wife or spouse, if you're a female, um, carry? This is, I will say, is a pretty snappy gun. I actually probably wouldn't recommend it actually as a um, for a small female, which my wife is a small female, and actually, I'd probably at some point get her a 380. Of some sort because it is a very snappy gun um, obviously it's little it's nine millimeter it it can snap pretty good because it's so small um, I don't have too much problems with it but uh, my wife definitely after a few rounds um, you know feels it pretty good um, so it's it's a nice gun. I mean, I'm I might not recommend it for you know really small females. I'd probably actually go with a 380 for smaller females with smaller hands. Um, but I mean, it's still it's still uh, a good uh, carry gun either way for. Um, but just know that it you know you want to have. Probably a decent amount of range time with it, um, if you are a smaller female, to get used to that, you know, it, it's snappiness, is what I call it. Um, it's recoil, but, you know, it's like a quick recoil, you know, versus a, you know, it's not a really powerful recoil, it's just like a quick jerk recoils. Um... But yeah, it's, it's a nice gun. Um, I, I might have missed the magazine release here. Um, I believe you can switch it from either side. And again, it has the magazine safety. So, which on this one, I don't know if they all have magazine safeties or not, but this one does. Which is fine. I mean, I'd rather, you know, it needs a magazine to function correctly, you know, especially for my wife. My wife's not going to load up one, one in the chamber and fire it. She's going to use the magazine every single time. So, anyway, I'm dragging this out. But it's Sunday. There's nothing else going on. Um, so, anyway. Sunday is gun day. Glad you joined me. Um, again, got uh, boxes coming soon and a couple other videos that I'm planning on doing. Hopefully I can get to uh, in the next few days for you guys. And I will see you on the next video. Big Bop out.